understanding, not a penny to spare. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that you might have come across in conversations, books, or movies, not a penny to spare. This expression is not just about money. It's a window into understanding situations, emotions, and decisions. So, let's unravel the meaning and use of this phrase together. Not a penny to spare, at first glance. This phrase seems straightforward, focusing on the concept of not having extra money. A penny is the smallest unit of currency in many English-speaking countries, symbolizing the smallest possible amount of money one can have. When someone says they have not a penny to spare, they're emphasizing their financial situation is so tight that they cannot afford to give away or spend even the smallest amount beyond what is absolutely necessary. This phrase is often used in situations where financial resources are extremely limited. It's not just about physical money but also about the inability to allocate resources to anything outside of essential needs. The context can vary widely. Personal finance, an individual might use this phrase when they're budgeting tightly due to low income or high expenses. Business, a company might say this during tough times, indicating they can't invest in new projects. Narrative, in stories or movies, characters might use this phrase to express desperation or the seriousness of their situation. Understanding the context is crucial because it adds depth to the phrase, showing it's not just about financial scarcity but also about priorities, challenges, and resilience. To help you grasp how, not a penny to spare, is used in real-life conversations and various forms of media, let's look at some examples. In a personal conversation, I'd love to join you for dinner, but with these medical bills, I've not got a penny to spare. In business, our budget is stretched thin this quarter, we've not got a penny to spare for new software. In literature or movies, a character might refuse a seemingly small luxury, saying, look at our situation, we haven't a penny to spare. These examples show the flexibility and emotional weight the phrase can carry in different scenarios. Understanding phrases like, not a penny to spare, enriches your English language skills, allowing you to express situations of financial constraint with nuance and empathy. It's not just about the literal meaning but the stories, contexts, and emotions behind the words. We hope this exploration helps you appreciate the depth of English expressions and apply them in your conversations and writings. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!